So I am Nico Darmanin and I am playing uh, the tenor role of Giacomo, the King of Scots, who is disguised as Uberto initially in the opera La Donna del Lago by Rossini. What are the challenges of this role for you? Oh, this role is very interesting. I have a fair amount of experience with Rossini, but this is a special debut for me here at Buxton. Um, as Rossini goes, you always think you've sung your highest part, and then comes along a part like this, which has not only many challenges, but it's actually very gratifying as well in respects once you feel more grounded in it. Um, Rossini requires a very flexible voice, a wide range from bottom to the very highest of notes that you can imagine, and it sits in a very awkward place at times. So it's, it's, very, it's a, a very intricate job for the singer to sing not only beautifully, but also um, very high. And for us tenors, uh, the, 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 you need to bring in a certain amount of virility and masculinity in, in, in this type of role, especially when you have a, one of the most amazing pieces of music where you've got two tenors having this high C battle just before the grand battle. How do you prepare? How do you, what sort of training do you do to get yourself ready for this? I think for something like this, um, experience comes in, which is the most handy thing, definitely, because you have to have um, a knowledge and a know-how, how to tackle certain tessatura and certain musical elements. Um, one of the most beautiful parts of the Rossini music is all this florid, very quick notes. And that's something that I think you acquire with a lot of training over years, but imminently, one thing I do is make sure I get a lot of rest and then make sure I um, have a certain ease in the voice. So I, I do certain little exercises every day, day in, day out, just to make sure that I'm flexible and soft and always give myself that, that flexibility within, within the range. And I also try to eat healthily because I think that really does affect one's capacity to sing better. How have you found the festival? How have you found Buxton? Buxton is so cute, but at the same time, it's just um, full of life and expansive, I find. It's, it's a great, great, great place. Um, you're in the middle of the beautiful Peak District in Derbyshire. Um, the festival has this fantastic energy. You're doing shows day in and day out, and you've given your audience such a wonderful variety of different types of shows as well. Um, for us colleagues who have been here uh, for this past period of, I think, two or three weeks now, um, it has been so nice because we get together and, you know, we mix with the local people and find, you know, the little local coffee shops and all of that and get to know the people in the, in the region. The theatre is absolutely stunning to sing in and as well is just, um, uh, you'd have to correct me, I think it's Victorian period, is it? And it's just beautiful inside. And it's just um, lovely to have this intimacy between the audience and, and, and the singing. It's fantastic. I've had a great time.